Welcome back to What's the Buzz in Western New York. I'm Kim Piazza. If you're a homeowner, you may have heard about how you can save money on your home ownership experience with something called a reverse mortgage. What is it? We check in with hometown expert Karen Johnson for more. A reverse mortgage is a, is a loan against the equity of your property. It is a mortgage. It is um, only available to people 62 years of, of age and older. Um, all borrowers on the loan must be age 62 and older. And it is a way of accessing some of the equity in your home to use any way you so desire, to pay off an existing mortgage, to use for home repairs, medical expenses, to pay off debt, to, um, to save in the line of credit, to draw on as for an emergency basis or as needed. Maybe you only need it once or twice a year to pay your taxes. Maybe you need a new roof on your house. You know, for anything you choose, it's, it's basically an equity loan but the difference with the reverse mortgage, it's only, it's only for people over 62, but there's no mortgage payment, and that's the big difference with the reverse mortgage. That's a very common misconception. The house is always in your name. Title is always in your name. The bank doesn't have ownership any more than they would with a traditional mortgage or home equity loan. It's always your home, always will be your home. If you want to sell it, you can sell it. You can do whatever you want. At this time, there is no income verification. There's no credit history involved. Um, all you need is sufficient equity in your home and need to be over the age of 62. That's the magic number. Urban Financial is the largest wholesale lender, a reverse mortgage lender in the country. Um, they also do retail, which is where I come in. I am a retail lender. I am here locally in Western New York. I meet my clients in their homes. We, they may call me and discuss briefly what their options might be. Then we make an appointment, meet in their home, discuss all of their options and, and needs and desires and, and what their ultimate goal is. Do they want to stay in their home for the rest of their lives? Do they want to um, give money to their children to help them perhaps buy a home? Do they just need extra income? Do they need a new roof? Do they, you know, what are their goals? What are their needs and goals? And that's what we sit and discuss. And then I, you know, based on an estimated value, we figure out how much they'd have available and then uh, proceed from there. If they decide to go forward with an application, we also do that in their home. The closing also takes place in their home. We, we try to keep it very personal, very um, private, and make it as easy as possible. As long as there's sufficient equity remaining, we can pay off an existing mortgage or home equity loan with the reverse. The big difference is there's never a monthly payment. Their only obligation is to continue to pay their property taxes their homeowner's insurance and maintain their home. Not remodel it, but re maintain it, you know, for safety features mainly. If all of the borrowers have passed away, the house goes to the estate, to their heirs. And at that time, they have two choices. If they want to keep the home, they can pay off the balance of the reverse mortgage. If not, they can sell it. And if there's funds left over, they get to keep whatever is left over. It's called a non-recourse loan. And if there is a shortfall, if maybe 30 years from now, the owners have passed on, and for some reason they now owe more than the value of their home, FHA pays the difference. Neither the owner or their heirs are ever liable for a shortfall. There is also something called a line of credit. And the line of credit has a growth rate to it, and it can be used, it can be, it can be left to grow, but it's always there in an emergency or if they have some need that arises that they need extra cash and financial advisors are advising their clients to do the reverse mortgage to leave it in that line of credit just as an emergency fund they can also draw on that instead of perhaps tapping into their pension their 401k a retirement plan letting that grow maybe for another 10 years using some of the income from the equity, maybe to 
Um, instead of collecting Social Security at age 62, wait until full retirement age, and then they would collect more in Social Security too. I have a myriad of stories of how we've, how we've helped clients just to enable them to stay in their homes, which is what I find most people want to do. Um, if they didn't want to stay in their home, why bother doing this? I also find that people, um, I've done a few, it's called a reverse or purchase whereas a client is selling a five bedroom home that they no longer need, but they want to buy that perfect ranch or the perfect patio home, but it actually costs more than the home they're selling. We can do a reverse for purchase and only have a, a, a smaller down payment, get into that more expensive home, still no longer have a monthly payment. Homes have to meet FHA minimum requirements, which means uh, they have to have proper handrails. They can't have a hole in the roof. It has to, you know, pass the safety features. Um, it can't be in a flood zone unless they're properly insured. They just have to have sufficient equity available to do the reverse mortgage. We can discuss every option. I have had clients that I met with five years ago, and then all of a sudden they come back and they go, okay, I'm ready now. You know, and that's not a problem. It, it's I'm never going to force someone to do something they're not comfortable with. But I'm finding today more and more people are researching their options. They're online, they're reading more about it, and when they call me, they're ready. If you have any questions about reverse mortgages, Karen is here in our hometown with everything you need to know. Give her a call at 725-8985. That's 725-8985. And you can find out about Urban Financial of America at www.ufareverse.com backslash Johnson. And stay with us as What's the Buzz continues.